Good morning, everyone. Oh, it's 7.55. I woke up at 5. Ah, oh, 5.15 or something like this. And I thought, nah, let's go back to sleep. So I did. And uh, it was good. So, uh, yesterday they asked me, what time do you need for your breakfast? And I'm like, why do you need to know? Maybe I want to come down at seven, and maybe at, you know, eight, nine, ten. Because they serve breakfast between seven and ten. And she said, uh, now we just want to spread people out over the morning so ah I said okay I do understand so I said make it eight and uh, so that was good timing to wake up I'm going to go have breakfast she said also if you come you know 20 minutes here or there it doesn't matter but we just want to spread people out a little bit over the morning so yeah I thought I'd have a look on the great interweb to see if there is anything that we can do like a day trip to then I also checked the weather and it's gonna be pissing down with rain today so we'll we'll you know leave that for now and see what happens really it's better I think check the weather forecast again today because then those change you know you know they they do change right, uh. right. Uh. yeah get up get up get up First time with these kind of American type waffles for breakfast. I thought that was just a, you know, a myth almost, but apparently it's not. So let's have a go. With it. Yeah. I suppose. So let's have another look at the weather forecast. Weather, Gdynia. Right. It's been clearing up a little bit actually. It's going to be rain from on this one. On this report, it says rain from sort of. Three to five with forty percent and thirty percent. That's not that's not half bad actually. Uh, so I'm gonna have a look at what we have around here to maybe have a ride and and look at. 
I know for a fact that there are loads of stuff as I've done research on this area before and I have never had what I thought was enough time to explore it so there is stuff to see in uh, in a decent range right I'm gonna have a look at that and uh, we keep an eye on the weather forecast because I don't want to break the zero of zero days rain riding and uh, yeah let's do it like that right so I have uh, changed lodging I didn't film anything I would just took off found this place after four or five times four or five tries and uh, I paid about 90 euros in the last place for that little room which was nice but still and here I pay 20 25 euros for this so uh, a bed that I can actually sleep in a little bit of a sitting area of course we have the table with the computer uh, very nice loo in the shower and outside we have this little thing a little balcony which is you know pretty cool and Betty is sleeping down there and it just started raining which was according to the f to the forecast I was lucky to get here in time Betty said I asked her if you, are you okay there I, and do you want to have like a roofing no 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 she said I'm, I'm good here I I can use a little bit of cooling down so yeah this is pretty neat huh? I'm uh, probably just sitting here in the room now because the rain started and I get some air in maybe the rain started and I'm not I don't feel like getting out riding in the rain so I'm gonna be watching a little bit of the excellent series travelers uh, that I have become addicted to so yeah maybe make a cup of coffee later on have a sandwich I saved some from yesterday so I have all that good stuff yeah cool huh? uh, nothing much gonna happen today so um, yeah take it easy After breakfast and packing up my stuff, I set out on my way to the Stena ferry terminal, riding through the still morning drowsy Gdynia. I walk between the raindrops, I am soaked but I don't mind the glow. I have walked this street a thousand times or more, and I hope that I still do when I still had some things to talk to the office about, so I first went to the parking instead of the line of cars waiting to board the vessel. From the parking there is a shortcut to the check-in, which allows me to skip to the front of the line.
There is something about rolling onto the ferry in Gdynia that for me signals the end of the trip. In just hours, I will again be in Sweden. We're on the ferry and um, that's good because uh, I don't know last night I was I wasn't worried but you know when you have this sinking feeling that something is about to go wrong <laughs> and uh, it might be because um, because I uh, I've had all these flat tires and uh, problems that I, I thought you know that mustn't happen now in the morning first of all i need to wake up in time and then i need to get away to uh, get on the road to the ferry and nothing can go wrong on the way i had a bit of a but uh, of a buffer uh, time wise but still i felt like uh, it was something that was just a nagging feeling so but we're here and we're on the ferry and as long as the bike betty doesn't fall over during the trip we're good to go and um, we will be arriving in sweden in Karlskrona at seven o'clock in the evening so this is going to be a 10 hour ferry ride and it's not like a little cool picturesque uh, ferry it's like a apartment building which is boring so these ferries are are not as fun as the small ones that I really like. Yes, so we're gonna go out and have a look around, but right now I just need to, you know, get my ducks in a row and catch my breath really. So yeah, um, all good so far. We'll be arriving in in Sweden as I said at seven, and I called Jimmy last night, my friend Jimmy. Uh, who's got a house there and uh, I asked him if I could pitch my tent in his backyard and he's like I've got a house for you man so he's got like a, a guest house where I can stay so I don't have to ride I could ride all the way to Vestavik I would be there 10-ish uh, in the evening um, which would be fine but just I don't know if I can be asked really and also, I really want to meet Jimmy and his wife, so... Yeah, cool. Let's... Um, let's just take a, a breather then, and then we go out and have a look. We haven't even departed yet, so it's going to be like another half hour before we actually leave the port. So, yeah. This is where I'm going to spend 10 hours. Obviously not all 10 hours, but some of it. And I'm just gonna try to get a, a little bit of a nap in as well. Yeah, so which is right now a little bit of a breather and then go and have a look around. Some of you might know, I used to work as a scuba diving instructor in, uh, yeah, all over the planet, uh, mainly in Egypt, and uh, there is something, when you're out on a boat like this in the middle of the ocean, there's something very special about being surrounded by 360 degrees of unbroken horizon. It makes you feel really small.
Kolla vad alla. Gamla gubbar. So I have arrived here at uh, Jimmy's and Adrian's place and a surprise that Johan was also here and here he is <laughs> Det här är ju eh... så länge det inte blir en lång sekvens för jag säger så mycket jag säger så mycket värdefullt så att det kommer användas mot mig jag tror att det är för mörkt för att det här ska funka. Gå lite på bett du! Hej då! I was now literally on the last leg, no way of getting around it. From Jimmy's and Adrian's place I had around two and a half hours ride to the base camp, if I took the fastest route, but I had no intention to. dog is fantastic. It's the best invention since the strip pole. We have about an hour left to ride to Westvik and the base camp. So suppose this is almost the final final uh, stop here. And the uh, journey is more or less over. I guess as you can say, if there was a fat lady around, you would hear her clearing her throat right now. At this point, my post-adventure stress disorder was already well developed. It's always difficult for me to approach the end of a trip. For me, home is on the road with Betty. What I have in Vestervik is the base camp, from which I long back home.
Back in Vestervik, back in the base camp, I summarized the trip to 5,247 kilometers through five countries over a period of 23 days, filled with unforgettable memories. Okay, so uh, I'm here at the computer and I'm literally editing the uh, the last couple of seconds that you've uh, just seen. So um, that means that this series is coming to an end and I'm in uh, Vestervik editing and uh, actually play, planning a little bit for next summer. I will make an episode of what I'm thinking about doing next summer but right now the weather outside here around the base camp it's not at all like when I just rolled into the uh, to the garage it's winter and it's snowing and it's boring and it's absolutely horrendous that's the the streets are just covered with ice it's like in a couple of days this happened we didn't have any snow uh, two weeks ago and just uh, it's horrendous. Anyway, so I just wanted to say thank you for watching this series and all the episodes, if you have. I don't know. Uh, and also, um, I'm going to make a Q&A episode fairly soon about the... Uh, from all the questions I got to each episode, I will just go through them and uh, answer them so that if you have any more questions you're more than welcome to to comment below here with questions and i will try to cover that in this q a section as well and uh, yeah that's it it's uh, what i have for for this uh, season so i hope you enjoyed this uh, this little uh, series about my trip in the Ukraine and in Poland and in Slovakia and Czechia, Czech Republic and wherever I've been without the plan. See you soon. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit that like button. And to be sure not to miss the next episode, subscribe to the channel. And don't forget the little bell symbol for notification. If you want early access to my videos, postcards from my trips, and your name in the end credit, you can join the Around on a Bike community either here on YouTube or on my Patreon page. Links in the description below.